my Ipsy bag. Um, I already kind of opened it because I hadn't originally planned to do a review on it, but because I got a new camera, I decided, well, why not? Let's do it. So, um, I already opened it, but this is the Came in this bag. Um, mine's orange, uh, but everybody else's that I've been seeing, and even like on the website, it's blue. But I got orange. Um, so that's odd. That's definitely a dislike because you they kept sending me emails. Oh, we shipped your bag out. This is what it looks like this month. I was really excited and I got orange. And like it's not even that like great of an orange. It's it's like a sharpie orange. Not like super bright, but like how the lid looks kind of bright, and then you write on it and it's like dark. Uh, so that let's see if I can get that up close. That would be my first no no. Um the quality is kinda good. Um the lining kind of reminds me, I would say, of the inside of a bag, like of a purse. Not like the thin, but like the feeling, the, I don't know if you can hear it, that noise that it'll make, like when you put your hand in the bag, that's what it reminds me of. It's got a cute little like, ipsy thing on there. Um, so I got five items, I totally had to count that, that's that. Um, the first one is an Ida shadow brush from Pop years. I'm so bad with names. I even still have it in the packaging. I hope that's focusing because I can't see. Um, I mean, it's super soft. Um, I didn't get to try it out yet though because what I have you guys sitting on right now involves my two eyeshadow containers. So I actually can't get to my eyeshadow. Um, but I ordered a camera stand, which should be here in two days. So then I won't have to use it anymore. But it's super soft. Um, I had been originally using, that's not it, maybe it was it. This brush, I bought it um, on, there's an app called Home. I know it's for Android, I'm not sure if it's for iPhone. Uh, and I bought like, it was for my cosplay, it was this thing that rolled up and you open it and had all these makeup brushes, but it didn't actually have like a good size eyeshadow brush like that. It came with like a little, little one. More like if I was gonna put on some like, eyeliner or something um, but it's super soft it's actually softer than these brushes that I have oh, no that's my eyeshadow brush <laughs> but yeah it's much softer it's got more volume um, the this one is the one I bought from home the home app which is they all ship from China and this one is the new one the home ones are red with purple that. Um, so it's super soft and I'm like really excited to use it, uh, especially with the upcoming convention and being able to do like the eyeshadows and stuff. It'd be really, really helpful. Um, so I'm excited to use it. It's nice and soft. I like that. Um, so next I got, it's called Pixie Beauty Blush Duo and I got the Rose Gold. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. Um, just because I don't, I don't use blush, but I understand why I got scent blush because I did choose the bridal theme and I also chose, um, my eye colors are green and then I did brown hair because at this point I don't know if I'm going to have brown hair for my wedding. It's over a year away, but we'll see. Um, I don't know if you can see it. That is... can't tell it's not much of a difference on my hand excuse my terrible surgery scars and that was the pinky color pinkish color and then that's like the rose gold I honestly can't even tell on this camera if you could see the difference it's probably something I can check when I'm editing um, I kind of like the rose like the golder color um, versus the rose like cuz see it on my finger it kind of matches my skin tone a little bit um in terms of like it's not that much different like it's not like oh bam blush because that's the only one of the reasons why I don't like blush is because it's so easy to just make it go bam blush so I was hoping that that wouldn't happen and it doesn't look like it would so I'm kind of excited to try it out 
but I probably am going to save it to the convention because I think it would be a really good color to use for my Sailor Moon and possibly my Asuna, so we'll see. Um, the next thing I got was the Starlux eyeliner. Um, it's just a basic eyeliner pencil. I did actually use it. I'm going to put a super close above my face, and I'm sorry. Oh, it fell on the floor. Um, I use it on the bottom because that's kind of what I usually do. I'm still kind of like learning in terms of like everyday makeup. I usually don't do everyday makeup. I do just for the, co you know, for conventions, and then I sometimes will throw eyeliner on, but I'm like, not really that big, big into makeup, like, it's still something that I'm learning, it wasn't something that my mom taught me, like, her big thing was, is you can't wear makeup until you're 16, you can't dye your hair, and then by the time I could do stuff like that, I went into dyeing my hair versus makeup. I wasn't really into makeup anyways. Um, so, I mean, I liked it, it applied super easy. It didn't smudge, like I have a problem sometimes when I'm doing it is that it smudges and then it gets like these gross black like underneath my eyes and I just I don't like that. Um, the next thing I got, it came in this, but I already took it out. Um, it's a step one, it's the next generation of primers. And I got the hydrating because it's ideal for normal skin. Um, I don't get zits, I don't get blackheads, I don't really have uneven skin tone, um, so I tried to pick with, that's kind of what I went with when I made my Ipsy account. Um, I don't really have to cover up, like, I don't have, I have like one scar there and a little mole, but that's it, like I don't really have anything I need to cover up. But this is what it looks like. Um, that's the bottle. Uh, it's, something I want to save because it's in such a small bottle for the convention but if you can see it comes out in like this little cream um, it's super liquidy um, but usually I, I don't usually this primer I have used hasn't been like this liquidy it's like running off my finger like a drip of milk uh, so that's something um, but I mean it looks good my only problem is and I know that it was a complaint on the reviews for Ipsy is that sometimes you do get child sized items. Like obviously the makeup brush and the eyeliner are normal size and um, some of the stuff I got before was kind of normal size, like the nail polish is normal size. But this isn't, it's just a trial size um, so I really don't want to go and use it and use it and use it and then I won't have it for the convention because this will be really good for holding the makeup that I need. So I am going to save this for the convention and I mean, I can do a review afterwards of what it was like, but this is, I'm going to save this for convention because it'll hold my makeup better, especially because it can get really hot at Sunkai Cop in that convention center. Um, and the last thing I got is a Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. It's by Kavar, I think is what it says, an anti-aging. Um, it's a spray volume and volumizer. Um, it is for your hair, obviously. Um, it says spray th throughout clean, towel dried hair prior to blow dry. Style as used. Um, I haven't, like, I sort of test dried it yesterday, but it's kind of hard to see because my hair's flat from going to bed and whatnot. My hair, like, dies, like, super, super, super fast. It just doesn't, it's so flat. That's just something I've always kind of dealt with. Um, it's not bad. It, it kind of, like, that's a problem. There it goes. It has a nice smell to it, which is cool. Um, and it's a decent size enough that I feel like I'm not going to run through it as fast. I mean, not that it's much of a difference, but like, that's a perfume bottle I've had for like three or four years. And I know perfume and hair stuff is different, but just saying like liquid wise, it's so much harder to go through it than trying to do like like straight up liquid versus like a shampoo or conditioner where you just like fucking just fly through. Oh, I said a bad word. <laughs> where you fly through it. So I'm hoping that this will work out really well, especially come summer because my hair just, you can even tell now it's like super flat. And then like come winter time, it gets like super frizzy and it stands up on its own like that. And it's just crazy. You can kind of like, it's a little poofier than it usually is, but it's not by much. Like down here is more than flat dead on my head. Um, 
So that was my Ipsy bag. Uh, my only complaints are, again, I got orange instead of blue, and I'm curious if anybody else got the orange. All the other videos that I watched so far all got the blue, and I don't remember who it was because I did watch quite a few yesterday um, on my break at work. Um, was that the blue one I heard was kind of cheaply made. Um, and this one isn't. Like, the seams are really good, and the inside seems to hold up really well. There's a Made in China sticker. <laughs> but, um, like I said, that's my only complaint in terms of the bag itself is the orange. Um, I like the product that was in it. But again, my only issue is I don't really use blush, but I'm trying to learn to use it more, especially with my cosplay. So, I'm... You know, pretty excited to try that. It looks really nice. Um, it applied pretty easy to my hand, um, so that's exciting. Uh, and the, I mean, the only other complaint I had was that this was a trial size, but that's kind of something that you should expect with something like this, just because you're not going to fit a full bottle of certain things in this. Like, I wouldn't expect them to be able to send me perfume and stick the whole bottle in there. It's just not gonna happen. Like. It's just something that you shouldn't expect. But, you know, to show off like my last month, that's a decent sized hand cream. And it's cake, so that's pretty cool. Um, and you know, the blush stick, full size from last month. Uh, I got lip gloss too, which was a little smaller, I guess, than I normally see, but I'm actually allergic to lip gloss. Um, like, there's something in lip gloss that makes my lips numb, and it feels like I had just gotten Novocaine, and like, you, you know how your lips feel after Novocaine, so I can't use it. Um, I said the blush stick was full size from last month, and if I can get the box open. I had it open earlier. There we go. The nail polish is, like, it's not full, I get, like, I don't know. I would say that that's kind of full size to me, um, because I know you can get them in bigger bottles, but usually when I get nail polish, like from Sally's and stuff, it's usually around this size or a little bit bigger. Um, so, I mean, I can't complain. I'm going to keep the subscription for next month and see what happens. As much as I got it for the bridal, I might switch up the theme if I can, just because it's always like pale pinks and stuff, and that's great for bridal, but eventually I'm going to accumulate so much pale pink that it's kind of like, what am I going to do with this all when this is all said and done? And I don't really have any cosplays currently that I could use a lot of the pale pinks for, so... But, I mean, if I had to rate it like a 1 out of a 10, like 1 through 10, I would say it's a... I would say like an 8. Um, again, I got an orange bag instead of the blue, and I know people are going to be like, that doesn't really matter, but that's not the point. It's the fact that they had sent me numerous emails saying that it was going to be blue. And it wasn't. It's orange. Um, but I like the bag kind of regardless of the fact that the color isn't what my email said it was going to be. Um, and the, just the small sized uh, primer was my, I mean, it's a really good bag. Like I don't want people to be discouraged and uh, if you can't tell by my channel, I don't have a lot of videos, I don't have a lot of subscribers, so it's not like I'm being paid to do this or anything. So, I mean, if you want to give it a go, give it a go. It's $10 a month. You can get four to five items, I think, was what it said. I got five. Um, last month, I think I got five, too, but I can't remember because I gave most of it to my mom. I say give it a try. I'm going to keep it next month, and I will make a video next month on what it looks like. I like it, and I'm not going to lie, if I think the packaging is my favorite. Oh, you can probably see my address on that. Oh, no. The packaging is my favorite because it's pink, and it's kind of cool. Again, try it. I, I mean, you really should. Give it a go. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, keep on going with it. So, that's it.